With the goal of evaluating my biological age, on Wednesday, I blood tested for the second time in 2021. So based on that data and using Levine's phenotypic age, uh, which is also known as biological age calculator, we can see that my biological age is 36, which is 12.2 years younger than my chronological age of 48. So which biomarkers are youthful? So uh, I've highlighted that albumin, the percentage of lymphocytes, the average red blood cell volume, red blood cell distribution width, alkaline phosphatase, and white blood cells are all found or are all uh, youthful or are associated with uh, a reduced all-cause mortality risk. And if you're interested in that data, I explained it in the video uh, that I, you can link to in the right corner. Alternatively, which biomarkers can be improved? So I've had lower levels of creatinine and glucose, which is going in the right direction. And also note that my C, high sensitivity C-reactive protein is 1.01 milligrams per liter. Uh, so for CRP, lower is better. I just made a video on that last week. And on my last blood test, it was 0.27 milligrams per liter. So this is up almost fourfold. So more on that in a minute. Now, Levine's test includes age, chronological age. Uh, so the maximal biological age reduction is only about 20 years. Uh, so in contrast, aging.ai does not include, include age. So larger biological age, BA, reductions are possible. So with that in mind, what's my age, biological age with aging.ai? So uh, this is aging.ai 3.0, and that uh, version includes 19 biomarkers that are found on the standard chem panel and complete blood count, CBC. And if anyone's interested in, in double checking my numbers, you can just plug in these data and uh, verify. So based on the data that I presented there, my uh, biological age with aging.ai is 27 years. So 21 years younger than my chronological age. Now beyond these tools being biological age metrics, uh, having a younger biological age, both by Levine's test and aging.ai is associated with a reduced all-cause mortality risk. So I will link to that on the last slide if you're interested in that data. Now, for this blood test, going back to C-reactive protein, I tried to reduce uh, CRP by increasing my HDL, and I tried a, a variety of interventions, uh, and I, uh, that's in my quantifying uh, biological age video number one. Again, you can check that out if you're interested. So uh, my HDL was 49 previously, and because of a correlation with HDL uh, with C-reactive protein, I expected a higher HDL and correspondingly a lower uh, high-sensitivity C-reactive protein. But as we can see by the red arrow, my HDL actually went down a little bit while C-reactive protein went up, again, almost fourfold. So that clearly didn't work. So what's going to be the plan for improving uh, CRP going forward into my next blood test? So first, are there correlations between my diet with CRP? So in the first step, I investigate macronutrient co correlations with CRP. Uh, so this means uh, looking at correlations for uh, total calorie intake, uh, total fat, uh, but then also individual amounts of fat, including monounsaturated fats, uh, omega-3 and omega-6 uh, uh, fat intake as uh, measures of polyunsaturated fats, my saturated fat intake, fiber intake, and protein intake. And I look for correlations between that with a given biomarker, in this case being C-reactive protein. Now, in step two, I then investigate correlations for individual foods and micronutrients with CRP and or other variables. Now, I'm not going to go through that data in this video because I just got you know, the blood test data on Thursday. So that, that actually takes a, a significant amount of time uh, that I didn't have over the past three days. But uh, I, that, I may put that in, in, a, in an upcoming video. So of the macronutrients that I mentioned, the only macronutrient that was significantly correlated with C-reactive protein, high sensitivity C-reactive protein, was my MUFA, monounsaturated fatty acid intake. And that's what we can see here with a high sensitivity C-reactive protein pr plotted on the y-axis against my average daily MUFA intake in grams per day on the uh, x-axis. And what we can see is that uh, a higher intake of uh, monounsaturated fatty acids is correlated, significantly correlated, with a correlation coefficient of negative 0.61 with lower high sensitivity C-reactive protein. And this correlation is statistically significant, as you can see by the p-value. Now, if I improve C-reactive protein, assuming correlation can impact causation, assuming that, um, will I make one thing better, C-reactive protein, but make other biomarkers worse, thereby negatively impacting my overall biological age score? So will increasing MUFA intake negatively affect the other eight biomarkers on Levine's test? So to assess that, we can see, we can evaluate the correlation. So first you can see the correlation uh, with monounsaturated fatty acids with high sensitivity C-reactive protein, that correlation again being significant. And then the correlation for MUFA, 
my da average daily MUF intake with the eight other eight biomarkers on Levine's test. And what we can see is that the, for the other eight biomarkers, the correlation with the average daily monounsaturated fatty, fatty acid intake, uh, there are weak correlations with correlation coefficients of less than 0 0.3 or greater than negative 0 0.3. So to answer the question, will increasing uh, monounsaturated fatty acid intake negatively, negatively affect the other eight biomarkers on Levine's test? Based on this data, maybe not. So with that in mind, my goal for the next blood test is to aim for a, a monounsaturated fatty acid intake of about 20 grams per day, which is the, uh, the far end of, of the uh, linear line. And if this is a true, uh, if this is a correlation that can impact causation, we'd expect that by uh, increasing my MUF intake based on the plot, that I should see correspondingly a reduction in high sensitivity C-reactive protein. And two of my main sources that I prefer to uh, get my monounsaturated fats from are almonds and cashews. So I'm going to increase my intake of those nuts. All right, uh, that's all I've got for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.